10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we start. Ready. All right, so right off the bat, I get a 2,000. Somebody who probably knows their openings far, far better than I do. For example, after one knight f6, I am out of book. Um, so expect that to be a recurring theme throughout this event. That I'm probably just going to hang tons of material in the opening. And then try to find ways to scramble um, in difficult positions. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to take a knight. Um, bishop would be useful to put here, but I don't have one of those. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll at least guard that square. Um, take a bishop. Okay, and now I get to win a pawn. So, my entire plan this game has been to win a pawn. Now I guess I've succeeded in that endeavor. However, my king feels extremely exposed over here. Oh, and not only that, I haven't actually won a pawn, because now he's going to fork me there. I get two pawns for a piece. It's not so good. Um, I guess I'll imprison the rook, but there goes my best pawn. Now maybe if I drop a knight here and take that, it's not so bad. Oh, hey look, I'm actually losing a pawn. Um, check that out. So if knight takes, I'm threatening to take on c6 instead of taking the knight. Um, but if it doesn't do knight takes, then I am just losing a pawn. So, okay. Well, that was fun. Um, I'll just develop my pieces and hope something good happens. Um, here, let's just hit the square. So I've got lots of pieces on the board. Um, maybe I can build up some initiative if I act quickly. If not, I'm just giving away even more material than I've already given. But Eh, why not be optimistic? Why not claim that the glass could be a third full instead of two thirds empty? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm well aware of what my rating is. Um, and you saw that, like, before. Uh, leading up to this tournament, I gained like 50 to 100 points um, against people who didn't really care about uh, the outcome so strongly. Here I'm playing in a tournament where there's prize money at stake, and people surprisingly play better when there's prize money. Who knew, right? <laughs> um, I mean, I know I'm not going to win the prize, but... Some people don't believe that, so. Um, or don't believe similarly. <laughs> Some people are much more optimistic about their own chances than I am. I'm just saying, after two tournaments of coming absolutely nowhere near the prize, um, that this tournament uh, is very likely not going to be mine. It takes some freakish act of nature for 
uh, this to be my tournament. So I hit the queen. Um, how do I not have a follow-up? Hit the queen again. There's a check and a check. GG, sir. Now, I had the advantage that game of playing the white pieces. Um, wow. <laughs> so that win of mine, which took pretty much the full duration of the game, has vaulted me into 141st place. I might have to play faster if I'm gonna win this event, but I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna win, but um, I'm just saying. Some of these games got decisive very quickly. Uh, okay, so he's probably gonna, no, he's not taking it. Okay, take a knight, I suppose. probably going to take it now? Nope. Now is he going to take it? Alright, I have to take that. Let's put the bishop on the board. And I'm not sure what to do. This is an awkward position to be sure. take my bishop, buddy. Uh, you know, having the right pieces in hand is often useful. I know he's trying to avoid repetitions, and so am I. Um, okay, so I'm going to get this square. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. Check that out. 2000 rating won't protect you against hanging material. Um, opponents will see that regardless of what your rating is. take advantage of it, but at least they'll see it. But yeah, I don't know why he chose that game to go Berserk. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. Alright, so here's a 2300. Um, so I'm just going to play my typical setup. Bishop c5. Gonna castle, everything's gonna be A okay, and sunshine and roses and whatever else you'd expect in a normal game. Uh, okay, so we're gonna pin that. Step back. Could I have taken that? I don't know. Um <clears throat> Well, this is ugly. Uh, so I think I have to go here, which allows him to just take and drop the knight here again. Um, if he had a pawn in hand, he would have a strong attack, because I would be forced to move my queen again at pawn f5.
Okay, so I need to start putting some pieces on the board. Doesn't matter too much where, they just need to start going down. So there's a piece. It's definitely on the board. Hey look, I'm giving away even more material. Aren't I such a nice guy? Probably puts a pawn, no, doesn't put a pawn here. Uh, why would you do that? But, um, okay. So I'm going to take the knight, and I don't even see what's coming. But, you know, definitely the trend is not in my favor here. Okay, he's threatening rook there, mate. Oh, right, he can just take another pawn. Uh-oh, that's not good. So I have to just go on an attack. Oh, he even anticipated that. But yeah, I have to just keep attacking now, because uh, I have no time to defend. Uh, what's this? Why would you do that? If he had another knight in hand, I could understand it, but as it stands now, I am thoroughly in the dark. Okay. At least to get two pieces for the queen if I do that. Um. Ah. That's clever. I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, this is nothing new, but I'm just so confused. So we're going to put a knight here. Hopefully that knight's going to save my butt. It's not. Not even close. Uh, yeah, I can resign. No, no. We're going to play this out. Just watch me get rolled. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, he's probably got mate a thousand different ways here. Um, yeah, I'm not winning that. I am absolutely nowhere close to winning that. So... That's why I'm in 154th place. Uh, uh, I just think going berserk against somebody rated 2000 or higher is a dangerous strategy. Is he going to see the mate in one? All right. Well, if we could get a top 50 finish, at least that'll be respectable. seen that idea before. That is new, at least to me. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore all of this. Uh, I can't give up the center. Storm everywhere. Am I up a pawn? 
I am up technically two pawns. Um, I'll just put pawns everywhere. Your pawn, their pawn, everywhere pawn pawn. those. If I had another pawn, actually if I had a, I could put my rook on d1 and win the queen. That doesn't win the queen. It's close. It's close enough. I just gotta play queen e3. And I'm threatening to win that. And even if I don't win it, hopefully some other tactics show up. Like, this is the sort of thing where you want to just have a ton of pawns in hand, and you can just put a pawn there and promote it, and put a pawn there and promote it, and just, like, get lots of promoted pawns that way. Um, okay. So, if I had a queen, this would be a good place for a queen. I don't think I'm getting a queen anytime soon. But maybe I speak too soon. All right, queen trade maybe. Hey, we got a queen. How did that happen? Um, okay, sure. How bad could this be? That's beautiful. That's a work of art. Against modern chess. So if I play the modern against it, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you don't do that, but... Um, his game, uh, his name's against modern chess, and so I chose to play the modern defense. Uh, clearly a brilliant strategy, if I do say so myself. There's no way this could ever backfire. Um, so, that all said... See, I haven't hung my pawn just yet. Give me time. I'll find a way to hang it. Yeah, if I had a rook, this would be an interesting square for a rook. There's so many things I could do if I had pieces in hand. We're going to start by trading pawns. This lets me threaten his bishop, as well as, who knows, maybe I'm threatening some sort of sax somewhere. I actually didn't see that until I played it. Um, but if this knight moves, then f3 is hanging. So that inspired me to find that g2 is kind of loose, which supports f3. Um, it's really, I'm just trying to break down this wall around his king. And um, the more pawns or pieces or other things I have in hand, the better. Uh, okay, so we're going to try to trade queens. Because the queen's defending the bishop. Queen trade, maybe? Actually, that, yeah, what am I talking about? Um, yeah, if I had a knight, that would be good. But I'm not getting a knight. So, this looks like an okay square for a bishop. 
Really, I'm just trying to blast this open. There, I got a knight. That wasn't so hard. Now I can fork the king and the rook. Or, you know, feel. Actually, he didn't have a way to avoid that mate anyhow. I was blaming him for moving his king to e1 instead of d1 or f1, but it would have amounted to the same thing. And I would have said that I'm winning a rook, and it would have been checkmate. Um, so we got the Hungarian defense going on, which is the way I tend to play against uh, e4. So naturally, I think it's sound. Um, and I'm kind of discouraged attempting to refute it. Um, so protect my pawn. Uh, I've got good central control um, or influence. I'm hitting this. That was a free knight. It's still a free knight. Let's take it. <laughs> it's a good thing my bishop's here. Although he doesn't even have a knight in hand. Um... Okay, all he has are pieces that move diagonally. So as long as I avoid the obvious tactics, I should be okay. Just don't walk into a bishop fork. Well, congrats on winning a crazy house game. So I'm not losing my pawn. We have no pawn left behind. Um, and since he's out of pieces, I have a little bit of time to develop. So I'm trying to trade all these pieces to gain a tempo on the queen. Um, there's probably more efficient ways to gain tempi, such as what I just did. Um, just keep placing pieces on the board. Uh, so although I'm threatening bulk, oh, actually e4 is defended. I was going to say I'm hanging something here, but I'm not. I mean, my position's extremely loose, but nothing's actually hanging. My queen's almost trapped. Um, no, I just placed another knight here. Okay, he moved his bishop. I thought, oh, well, how did he manage to place one? Um, so now I'm forking these pieces. Again, there's nothing concrete here. I just have a constellation of um, possible threats. So I'm threatening this bishop and taking it. Because, you know, threatening things isn't good enough, apparently. You have to actually take them before your opponent notices. Um, I don't know, this kind of tournament format is kind of silly. In the sense that there are some players way at the top, and then there's me, and then there's players way at the bottom. And I spend most of the tournament playing against people uh, with for who the result could be decided before setting up the pieces. A pretty high degree of accuracy. Um, I mean, it's just a colossal event, and it's difficult for them to um, 
Oh, okay, so here's the point. I, I wasn't coming up with the explanation rationally, but I've done this sort of thing before. The point is that he can't place a pawn to protect the bishop. So he needs to, like, okay, there he's placing the knight to... That's not a protecting move. Okay, so we'll sack the queen. Um, but yeah, it's just a colossal event, and um, really any kind of pairing format's going to fail with this an event of this size. Do take here? Yeah, this is where I want my rook. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you could be one of the top players. You just have to win all the games, really. How hard could it be? Okay, we're going to try d5, just for a change of pace. So you can't pin my knight, and yeah, I'm just going to go back. So I think I've sufficiently confused my opponent. Um, you know, I could just place a knight here, I think. Possibly should have done that already. I don't want to make a hole on b7. And I do want to sack there, but I don't have the material to back it up. I sack anyway. I don't know. But anytime I sack a piece, it's like my opponent gains two pieces, so that doesn't quite work. Um, okay, this bishop's not going to lounge here forever. Um, fine, you've convinced me. Go ahead, double my pawns. <laughs> um, okay, we're going back. And I just don't know what I'm doing. So I appear to have given away the center. thing I said earlier about players play better when there's a prize at stake. Um, I outrate my opponent by 400 points. And okay, yes, I am trying d5, and yes, this is something new and different. Um, but I think my opponent's playing quite well. Um, far better than I've seen any 1600 have played in the past. And I think that's speaking to his motivation. He wants to win. Um, People want to win when there are prizes at stake. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, I'm just saying um, this event is just too enormous for its own good. <laughs> uh, okay. There's a fork. Take that. I can take here if I want. I think I do want. I don't see a follow up. I'm just going to place a bishop. So I'm threatening this, threatening that, and increasing pressure on that. I don't even. didn't even see what he took. I assume it was a bishop. 
But yeah, I'm definitely uh, escalating things here. If he places a bishop, I just take it. Um, knight protects bishop. And so now his uh, position starts to crumble. Okay, I've got a couple knights in hand. This looks like a reasonable position for a knight. Uh, do I take g2? Do I take g2? I assume this is right. I'm not seeing a clear follow-up, but this looks too good to pass by. That doesn't work, buddy. I guess the other way probably doesn't work either. Yeah, it doesn't. So I actually had him there. So here I am against another 1500. But for us to get paired, I assume he must have done well so far. So even though I outrate him by 500 points, I mean, he, he does have a provisional rating. We don't know his rating for sure. But, um, uh, I think he's going to play well. He does seem to play a little bit slowly, but I assume he's a good player. So we're 30 minutes into the event, and I've gotten one higher rated opponent so far. I was honestly hoping for more higher rated opponents, even though I would have complained about it. Um, just complained about how badly I'm getting crushed. Um, I mean, that's part of the whole experience, I suppose. Okay, since he doesn't have a pawn in hand, I'm going to play this. So. There are some weaknesses, but he has no pawns with which to exploit them. So I'm just going to step back. Why didn't I take and then, like, anyway. Um, I can't place there either. This has gotten really ugly. So I'm offering to sack one of my bishops. I guess I have to take back here. At least now I have a knight. A knight is more flexible in this sort of position than a bishop is. Free bishop. Okay, he got two pawns for it, but... Uh-oh, uh I should not have done that. That was very unwise on my part, because I'm trading bishop for bishop, which just encourages him to trade and then drop another bishop there. Um, uh, I'm playing badly. Let's see, here's a better move. This makes use of the material that I have in hand, which in this case was just the knight. Okay, now I've got a rook in hand. That's an upgrade, to be sure. Um, oh dear, this is gonna get ugly. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the rook there. Don't ask why. Do not ask. I can't offer an explanation. It just looked like the right thing to do. Um, this could hugely backfire. Um, 
want to take, but I can't. I'm pretty sure taking gets me killed there. I can take here, though. Free bishop. Can't say no to a free bishop. It's really hard to say no to free pieces. That was a good game. I think he overlooked some things toward the end, but he applied pressure throughout, and that's what really matters. That's very uncomfortable. Um, and with that, I finally got my ranking above the other players in this tournament that are similarly rated. Meaning, I'm going to get paired up. Okay, so we got blindfold player, number six. He's going to try to kick my butt with just a minute in hand. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to turn out for him. Really? Uh, is this solid? This feels most unsolid to me. You know, what would have been for a great time control for this event? 1-0. 1-0 Crazy House. It's the maddest thing you've ever seen, if you've ever seen Crazy House. Um, Uh-oh. Um, I'm losing a queen, guys. Oh, I'm losing more than a queen. That's good. Okay. At least that way the suffering ends quickly. So, just to give you an idea of my uh, chances of winning this cup, they're about the same as the chances of winning against that opponent. They are real. Uh, it's just... Um, my winning is going to require me to play moves that I'm not going to see. Like, I got completely blasted that game. You have no idea how bad that was. <laughs> Some might attribute that to a simple oversight. I attribute that loss to a fundamental misunderstanding of how this game works. Um, which is what you expect with a 300 point rating difference. You expect that one player understands the game at a far higher level than the other player understands it. Um, Uh, okay, we're going to take the knight. And, oh, this is legal, but it's risky, because he can check me. He checks, I block with the bishop. I'm not sure where we go. It looks very risky, but, I mean... How often do you get the chance to play knight at e6 on move 8? Okay. Um, let's protect this pawn. Also try to win the rook. Uh, 
so his queen's run out of squares to guard c7. So I get to take a queen. And I'm threatening to drop something. Okay. Wow. That was cool. Knight at e6 was worth the risk, then. But yeah, this game has kind of a steep learning curve. Um, I like how this guy, Pure Essence, has gained 649 rating points this event. That's a lot of rating points. Um, sure. I'm going to play that, hopefully freak him out a little bit. Where's the pawn going? I'm just gonna play h6. And I think I'm up a bishop, sir. Okay, it's kind of important where I move this knight. Um, just because if I put it on, move it to d4, bad things. Well, I can't. Even, I don't have time to explain, unfortunately. Um, but it's bad. All right. So there's my target. Or up a pawn, boys. <laughs> or rather, up an entire bishop. Yes, my king is in a turbulent spot, um, but I think I'm okay. Where do I place my pieces so I don't lose? Um, let's try this. So I'm threatening to take the knight, and I'm doubly defending this long diagonal. Yes, this pawn on e6 is most un discomforting, but I'm not sure what to do about it, so I'm just going to ignore it for now and pretend it's gonna go away and fix itself and I won't have to worry. Uh, I have to block this. Which unfortunately just hangs the bishop. I am so great at this game. Uh, look at those one move tactics. Uh, I'm spotting them as I go. Uh, that was a bit of an emotional roller coaster. I don't know if I can take this. <laughs> okay. Um, I really don't know if I can take this. Well. Oh, now if you... Uh, let's get mate in two if I don't take on d7. Or he inverts the move order, which is the clever thing to do. Uh, which I don't think works here, though. Because um, now he can't hamper my king. Okay. Where's your big attack? You got my king wide open. I'm not seeing the attack. And now I just go back home. <laughs> oh, and he's low on time as well. 
unfortunately, he seems to be winning gobs of material. Right, so he's threatening to try to win my queen on d7. Oh, he's got a bishop in hand. Well, that's no good. Well, I'm gonna run for it. Uh, how did I blow this? I just don't know. Oh, he's number four in the tournament. I should have looked at that before uh, making some pretty big decisions here. Um, all right, well, that was exciting. See, so, yeah, we had similar ratings, and I did put up a good fight but I shouldn't have held on to my queen so tightly against somebody who actually understands the game. Um, that was a poor, pragmatic... De oh, crap. <laughs> um, that was a poor, pragmatic decision. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna pretend I didn't badly mouse slip there. Just trying to get a hold of my mouse and accidentally clicked on it twice while doing so. Uh, but fear not, my king's gambit has not gotten me checkmated. It isn't actually starting to pay some dividends. But literally any other opening would have put me in a better place. Um, so don't do this at home. Um, so who was it who asked me to play in this event? I'm just trying to call them out right now. Because I said last time that I played the Chess Whiz Cup, people watched higher rated players. And now as I'm playing the cup again, uh, things are pretty quiet. I mean, it's good for meditation and such, but what's the point of playing if it's not a social event? I mean, some might try to play it for the money, and there's only a little bit of money at stake, so it's... Uh, I just don't know. There's much I do not understand. Do I play it for the fun? I mean, is this fun? To some extent it's fun to just take all the hanging pieces, but after a while it does get tedious. Okay, I'm just going to hang b2, just to see what happens, but also to just protect my pawn in the center. Um, so I've managed to get lots of pieces on the board very quickly. Um, now I just need to race these forward. I'm going to play my rook here to try to win that pawn. Uh, so, just watch me blunder everything away here. I'll find a way. Don't you worry. Okay, so I'm going to drop a pawn there, maybe. Yeah, it looks like a fine spot. I'm 
This queen's kind of overloaded at the moment. I mean, how much of that does everybody want to see? I just place a piece, place a piece, place a piece. Almost all of the games in this tournament are complete blowouts. Um, where it's pretty clear who's the better player throughout the entire game. Not all the games of the tournament are like that, but a lot of them are very lopsided. And part of that's the nature of this game, that you make mistakes and things snowball almost instantaneously. Uh, I have to take that? Okay. I admit I don't know this opening. Uh... This would be a good time to have some more opening knowledge. So I can do that. Um, I'm gonna, I've got all kinds of kingside weaknesses now. And he can pin down my knight, so... This is not so hot. I'm just gonna castle and pretend none of this ever happened. Um, Pawn in hand is scary. Okay. I have no idea what he's doing. None whatsoever. I mean, I know he wants to attack, but I don't recognize this form of attack at all. I've got all these pieces in hand, too. Oh, okay, so maybe he's... no? I don't know. I am... stumped. So I have to stop queen h5. Unfortunately, there's no queen d5. Um, so what now? I just don't know. Like, I'm threatening this, I've got control over tons of light squares near his king. And by tons, I mean three. Um, it's kind of an exaggeration on my part. Um, is he saying that a bishop's decisive somehow? I just don't get it. Because now he can't place the bishop there. And what's the point? Okay, he's okay. He could place that. I don't understand this. What has that attack accomplished? He hasn't won my queen. He's getting a knight. I'm gonna protect e6. Uh, oh, I don't have a mate threat. I miscalculated badly. Um, okay, so just go back. I was thinking that I had a mate threat here. I was probably going to drop my queen there, after much hesitation. Um, I can't put my queen on g8 because there's a discovery against my king. This is terrifying. So 
So somehow he's managed to get an attack. Um, now he's threatening to take there with check. I just don't understand this. should have checked him. What am I doing? Okay, did anybody enjoy that game? I don't know, that was just weird. Obviously he miscalculated at the end with queen takes g6, but um, did anybody really enjoy that? That was just me suffering until his clock ran low. Um, obviously I was getting outplayed the entire game, and I just came up with a miracle tactic at the end that just happened to work. Um, I just don't understand uh, why people would want to see that. Oh, look at that. I just gave away a queen. It's only a queen. <sighs> so, I mean, I should probably start using some of these and have some optimism about my chances. You know, if I don't give away pieces every other move. Uh, okay, well, we'll just pretend that I'm not giving away my entire army and that I might actually have an attack and maybe something will happen. Um, almost certainly something won't, but maybe. You never know. Okay, so let's check in. Check. And I'm out of attackers. Um, like, if I had one more pawn, this would be crushing. But I don't, so I'm just kind of dead. Um, I'll take that. It's a pawn. Oh, look, I overlooked mate in one. Great. <laughs> Yeah, he probably enjoyed most of the game until he blundered at the end, and then he probably got all ticked off, but whatever. That's pretty much how this game goes. Um, 
just incalculable. So I've got outplayed in my favorite opening. Uh, I'm going to need to rethink how I play this game. If I can't play the Italian opening main line, uh, then... And I forget how I used to play this too, but maybe that isn't what I used to do. Um, all right, we got into symmetrical position. Assuming he castles, maybe he won't. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try to remove this defender. More importantly, I'm taking away the d4 square, so he can't just repeatedly place knights on it. Um, so we both got two knights in hand. I can just put a knight there, and okay, I'm giving up multiple pieces to get a knight. Oh, I should have gone... no, actually c4 is no better. Um, okay, so I'm threatening to take here, maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Also, maybe here. Uh, let's take the knight. I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. Hey, welcome. What's up? I mean, here I am just in 36th place. Just 35 places away from winning it. I'm so close, and yet so far. Mostly far. So I'm assuming that like knight f3 and knight e2 and all that don't do anything. And if I've assumed wrongly, then I just lose. Um, but if I assumed correctly, then I have some slight advantage. Yeah, I guess I am in the top 50. That's actually a good accomplishment for this event. Okay, how am I not winning this? Oh, because his knight protects g6. That's the trick. It's an interesting trick. Uh, I suppose I need to defend h2. That way, when he tries to sack a knight on f3 and I don't take it, I'm not getting mated by a queen on h2. Maybe knight g4 would have been better. Stalemates are so exciting. And by stalemate, I just mean us fronting off against each other and nobody making any progress. I don't mean literally a stalemate, because that's not going to happen.
Wait in two. Yeah, we can resign that. Well, see, that's what it's all about. Most chess games are about um, subtle maneuvering and clever stuff. It's ironic that of all the tournaments, uh, of all the Chess Whiz Cups to have an increment, this is the one with the increment. Literally any other variant would make more sense with an increment than this one. Like, I support the idea of increments in general, but this game was not designed for increments. Um... Just castle and do something. I don't even know how to play this. Um, so, yeah. Fine, we're gonna g5 this, which is probably wrong. I mean, it makes all kinds of weaknesses, but. Unless he can capture something, um, we're just playing chess. It's only once he manages to capture any of my pieces that this becomes crazy house. Um, hey look, I got my rook pinned. Um, okay, well, we'll just accept the fact that We've given up some material, um, and that we're about to give up a whole ton more material unless things go well. Um, it's an accidental queen trap, ish. Uh, I take there. Do I not get a queen? Have I lied? So I'm threatening to place a pawn there. <laughs> uh, this is weird. I don't think he gave himself enough time to play this. And by that, I think that um, I'm playing better than he expected me to. could still lose this. Uh, it would take a concerted effort, but I could do it. If anybody could do it, I, it would be me. So yeah, I might be bad at attacking as evidenced by that game, but I can defend. Um, I can defend to some pretty bad standard, but some kind of standard. I mean, sure, give me a ton of pieces and I'll find something, but um, I'm better defensively in this game than offensively. What is that? I have no idea what you're doing. But I question your sanity for having done it. We're having 
and committed to it. So this is loose. He needs to place something to protect it. I don't see any sane alternative. Now if I had another knight, then it'd be game over. Fortunately for me, there's a knight right there. So, yeah. Um, actually, there's a knight right there, too. I don't want that knight. That knight would cause me to lose my bishop on f3. We're going to take this knight. Fortunately, e7's protected. Otherwise, I'd be mated in one. I have to admit, I didn't see that until after playing rook takes queen. Um, but here, I've got knight h3 and knight e2 threats, so as well as queen h1 and queen g2. Um, this position's somewhat bad for white. Haha! <laughs> -ha, I found a move! Yeah, this 2-2 two, two time control is a little too slow for Crazy House, at least at the level most of us play it, which, let's be honest, is a pretty bad level. At least by most of us, I don't mean most of the people I've normally played against, but I just mean the people in this particular event. Um, Most Crazy House players on other chess servers, um, one in particular, understand the openings and key ideas. I think most of the players in this particular event have no clue what Crazy House is and are just experiencing it for the first time and feeling tons of growing pains for having done so. Um, To make that a little uncomfortable for him. Oops, if I take there, yes I am deflecting his knight, but tons of other things are happening. Um, I just want to place something on d3 and stop him from playing d3. As you can see, that uh, that effort didn't quite work. Um, so... Uh, let's force this knight to move, since it has nowhere forward. It must retreat. Um, I don't see a plan. I'm just going to play this even though it's kind of aimless. So here I'm taking a pawn. So that appears to have been uh, a shocking success there. Um, I appear to have, well okay, so I'm losing a rook, but um, that detail aside, that was a pretty good skirmish. Uh, I don't see a plan. Okay, so I'm just going to try to storm the king over there. my 
bishop protecting this because I intend to drop more pieces on dark squares over here. Uh, I might be getting my queen trapped. Or worse might be happening, but... Um, Okay, this shuts the bishop off of this square, so I'm not in danger of losing my queen anymore. Um, so now we fork bishop and rook. So now I have a rook in hand, which could actually be kind of lethal. If he had queen in hand, I would be terrified here, but he's only got a rook, so he can't do queen h7. Um, I missed the bishop takes pawn. It's kind of a big oversight. I guess I'm banking on knight takes bishop. Um, So now he has no knights, so I'm far less eager to take the bishop. I don't want to give him a knight. I'm just not seeing any of what's going on here. Let's repeat that with gain of tempo, hopefully. That's not even a legal move. surprise there buddy you can't move the pieces around your king and expect it to live um, alrighty so you got a 2570 opponent um, hmm I guess knight of three here If you can't tell, I'm already way outside my comfort zone in terms of opening prep. Uh, let's pin the knight. And hopefully not lose material. Whoa! Really? Oh, that's interesting. Um... That works. I will have to remember that. I am super. 
super confused, but my opponent's got some initiative out of this, so I guess maybe that's the point. Pieces that aren't on the board are pretty useless, so... Um, definitely behooves me to get them on the board. So if he had a pawn in hand, this would be something else, but... Um, and by something else, I mean I'd just be dead. But two knights and... Oh, wait. He's threatening bishop. Like, he's going to take my bishop and then... Bishop and then knight h3. Um... So, I guard the g2 square. Sketchy for me. Um, what? Why would you? What's going on? I guess he's got enough pieces in hand that he's got a pretty colossal attack here, but. Oh man. I have no idea how this game works. Um, okay, so I'm forced to go up, because if king h1 I get mated quickly. If I go back, it's probably mate. Um, if I go forward, I'm probably mated too. Yeah, and I have to go back. Um, I have to take that. These out of diagonal moving pieces. Ah, very clever. Am I still dead? Ah, there it is. Wait, that's not mate. Yeah, but no, this is mate. Let's go back a couple. This check. I could just take the knight. And he takes back, and that same thing repeats, and I get mated. Uh, could have gone f2. Yeah, maybe I was okay. I have no idea, like, how that happened, or what even happened. Um, maybe somehow I was surviving that, but that was crazy. Um, I think the lesson of the day is that you do not want me to be your bug house partner. Because I will get checkmated. I'll just take all the pieces and then I will get checkmated. That's my style of playing Bug House. Uh, and okay, maybe in Crazy House that's sometimes okay, but it leads to really controversial decisions <laughs> when you just take everything. I'm just going to try to keep all my pieces on the board. 
Okay, let's castle. Get the king out of there. Never mind that I was hanging f4 with that decision. My opponent missed it. I think most of you missed it. Um, so it didn't really happen. Um, let's check king e1 and checkmate. Oh no, all you need is Luft. Wait, no, wait. He apparently won that game, although I see his rating is down 27 points this event. But at least he won. All you need is Luft. Uh, okay, we're going to take that. Pretty sure that this French stuff is nonsense in Crazy House. There's an enormous hole on d6. You just can't ignore that. It's a structural deficiency that, okay, maybe he puts a pawn on c7 and it's okay, but um, I'm just going to say this whole time that that hole on d6 is just something you can't ignore at all. Okay, so I'm sacking a bishop. <laughs> Not just a bishop. Oh, oh no. I forgot this pawn supports my knight. Um, I'm potentially sacking the house here. So my bishop's weak. My knight is in an interesting precarious spot. My b2 pawn and rook are hanging. But I've got some initiative, so it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so if king g8, I've made in one. OK, so we're back in the lobby with two minutes left. <sighs> Bummer. If I just clicked that button in a second quicker, maybe I would have gotten one more pairing. Um, but yeah, I think with two minutes to go, and the opponent having two minutes. Oh, okay, never mind. Here, we're going to try the French just to see. Just. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Apparently, it's a respectable opening. I'm going to be respected and feared. Um, Oops, I'm just giving away a knight. And the whole game and stuff. Yeah, this is just GG. <laughs> that was quick. I don't even... Yeah, there's less than a minute on the tournament clock. There's no time for another game. But with my entire king side collapsing, I think it's fair to say that the French is refuted. It's a no way, no way an unfair criticism. So let's watch All You Need Is Luft. How are the standings? Our buddy Atrophied is up there. A couple more wins and he could have had it. But at least he's got second. It's going to be a close finish up at the top as he no longer has second. Wait, no, that's sorry. The fourth place is 80, not 88. I thought there was some error updating in the scoreboard. And... Come on. Congratulations. All you need is Luft, Atrophied, and I don't even know how to say that. But well done, guys. Very well played. I'm sure it would have been far more entertaining for me to have watched and commentated on those games than to play it myself. But oh well, I had a little bit of fun playing in this, so that's a thing. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.